We've got a job to do. Let's do it. Kill. I need assistance. I need assistance.
critical kill.
resistance. Indeed, my dear Etienne, but this is not the moment to bask in our success. For if we are to deliver our Dauphin to Rem for his coronation, we will need to expel the enemy from Torel. Mind you, this is no easy task. Torel's is fortified by an adjacent military installation, that of St. Augustine, a tower that features formidable arbalests controlled by numerous mechanical pulleys. This does sound quite dangerous. Fortunately, we can count on our master siege engineer and Pullman general, the Duke of Alençon, to aid our cause. Milady, I would like to introduce you to Jean II, Duke of Alençon. Glad to make your acquaintance, Milady. After hearing of the plight of our innocent citizens in Orleans, I felt compelled to be here to assist you and your noble cause. Very well. Let's move on and destroy the up in the English. Let's go, there's some headbanging to be done. I will head towards the vicinity of Torel so I may scout the area. I shall inform you of any enemy activity in the area. And I shall head toward Chinon to rendezvous with the French siege forces, led by Dunois and Dillier. The English are retreating toward the west. We may either head west and take the initiative against them, or capture English camps due south. All the remaining camps surrounding Orléans have been recaptured by the French. The next day, the English abandoned the immediate vicinity of Orléans, and there was great celebration in the city. But this was no time for Joan of Arc and her companions to rejoice. Joan needed to liberate the rest of the Royal River Valley if she was to accomplish her mission. That of crowning the Dauphin Charles VII was key. However, one of the paths leading to the Loire River region was beyond Tourelles and St. Augustine. Surrounded by English garrisons, Tourelles and St. Augustine possessed an extreme defensive military power. For in the vicinity, an automatic siege weapon tower had been erected. This siege tower was replete with gears, pulleys, and other assorted mechanical contraptions that allowed it to operate with certain autonomy. Enemies inside this imposing structure could control the array of arbalists within to mount a vicious defense against any French force attempting to cross the river or approach these two bastions of English might. Undaunted, Joan and her men ventured on, knowing that the chances to tear down the English defenses, although slim, were unattainable. If only they could destroy the weapons tower guarding St. Augustine and Torrell's first. Fortunately, Joan of Arc could count on yet another general, eager to assist her and the Valois cause. Once that master Pullman general and siege machine engineer, the Duke of Alençon, heard of Joan of Arc and her noble intentions, he offered his skills and loyalty to her cause. 